Item number SCP-3435 Object Class Safe Special Containment Procedures SCP-3435 is to be contained in an oblique airtight case equipped with a desiccator to preserve it. The image of SCP-3435 is not to be distributed outside of approved personnel and test subjects. Personnel must be screened before assignment to SCP-3435. Those with backgrounds in politics or art criticism are automatically prohibited from viewing SCP-3435 or images of SCP-3435. MTF Epsilon-23 Art Critics is to monitor art galleries in Clark County for sightings of POI-0171, the Nermo Gutierrez, or his works. Under no circumstances are any personnel to be assigned to both SCP-3435 and SCP-2078 at the same time. Description SCP-3435 is an oil painting by known an artist, Guillermo Gutierrez, titled Dream a Better Dream, measuring 110 centimeters by 68 centimeters. SCP-3534 depicts two entities, a blue third-part dinosaur with cybernetic attachments and various laser weapons reminiscent of those in science fiction, and a red European-style rival dressed in a pointed hat and colorful robe, holding staff and what appears to be a spellbook. Repeated viewings of SCP-3435 often show changes in the relative positions of the entities, although the majority of viewings appear to show the two entities physically fighting. The background of the painting also varies widely between different viewings, even when viewed multiple times by the same person. SCP-3435 exerts a primary anomalous effect on dreams of any individual who views it or a photograph of it. In 87% of cases, the viewer's dreams will sporadically involve the entities depicted in the painting. Reports indicate that the dream entities designated SCP-3435-1 will attempt to communicate with the dreamer. SCP-3435-1 will cease to appear in dreams after a varying period of time from viewing of SCP-3435. The length of this period has been between 1 and 8 nights. Use of amnestics to remove the memory of viewing SCP-3435 successfully ends the presence of SCP-3435-1 in dreams. A common theme in dreams involving SCP-3435 is elements from the dreamer's childhood. If the viewer perceives SCP-3435 as being representative of a socio-political issue or conflict, the viewer will experience migraines of various severity. If the viewer writes down or speaks about their interpretation of SCP-3435, they will experience further side effects, including stomach cramps, diarrhea, hemorrhoid, or constipation. Chemical analysis of SCP-3435 has revealed several previously uncategorized compounds in the paint thought to be responsible for the colors. Testing is ongoing, but so far analysis has not shown them to possess any perception-altering properties. Interview Log 3435-1 Interviewer Dr. Mira Villa Interviewee D11424 a 29-year-old Hispanic male. Length of SCP-3435-1 presence. Two nights. Tell me what the painting represents. It's sort of complicated, I guess. You don't need to go into detail. Just a general summary. Yeah, okay, let's see. I think the red wrist one represents conservatives and the blue dinosaur represents liberals. And the red spell book probably represents the... God, my stomach. Can you continue? Uh, I don't know. D11424 wipes his mouth with a towel. I just need to lie down. Very well, we'll move on. 
Can you recall any details in your dreams? Ah,、uh, a little bit. It's hazy.、Uh, let's see. The dinosaur took me on a walk on the beach. At least I think it was the beach. Wait, yeah, it was the one we went to one summer when I was eight. She asked me what I wanted to be when I grew up. I said I always wanted to be a deep sea diver. I always loved the ocean, you know. D one one four two four takes a sip of water. I forgot what happened next. Anything else? Oh right, the red dragon made the magic bubble and gave me a little crown, and we went to the bottom of the ocean. I saw a submarine. My mom waved at me from the window. I. <sighs> and then I woke up. I'm sorry. It's just. It's all right. Would you like to stop here for now? Yes. Thank you, interviewer, Doctor Melvella, interviewee, D seven one seven nine nine, a twenty five year old Asian American female. Length of SCP thirty four thirty five one present one night. Tell me what the painting represents, if you feel able to.、Uh, do I have to? Just thinking about it makes my head hurt. Sure, we can move on. Do you remember any details of the dreams you had last night? Yeah, a little. All right. Tell me what you can remember. Uh, it's blurry. I think it was snowing, and the dinosaur and dragon painting were there. I think I heard my dad's voice. I'm sorry. It's really hard to remember. That's fine. Any other details that stand out? I. All right. I saw the dinosaur and the dragon walking through the snow. And it was my little sister chasing them out playing the trumpet. I don't know why, but that's the only part I can remember clearly. Interesting. Does that hold any significance to you? I wanted to be a musician when I was young. I always messing around and playing instruments with Kumiko. I just after she passed away. <laughs> I couldn't bring myself to make music anymore. I miss her. Interviewer, Doctor Mel Villa. Interviewee, D one nine zero six zero, a twenty two year old African American male. Length of SCP thirty four thirty five one presence, eight nights. First, you experienced no medical side effects on viewing SCP thirty four thirty five. No nausea, diarrhea, constipation, any of those? Yeah, nothing. No migraines either. Nope. Interesting. Please state for the record how you physically saw SCP-3435 and how you interpreted its meaning. And look at the dinosaur and the dragon were smiling in a way and holding hands. They were flying through the sky. As to the meaning, hmm, I think they represent the artist's childhood. With the blue one being the so-called left brain and the red one being the artist's creativity, I'm not entirely sure. Hmm. All right. Can you tell me about the dreams informing the entities in the painting? Sure. You know how it usually goes with dreams, but for some reason I remember this one clearer. I was in my old house back when we lived in Redacted. Then it was night time. It was really windy. Then I remember I walked out the back door and suddenly I was in a forest. I don't remember how I got here, but I remember it started raining and the blue dinosaur appeared. <sighs> I don't know how she did it, but she led me to a clearing and there was a spaceship there. My God, it was the one I would always draw with my crayons. I had a little antenna and rocket boosters and lasers and everything. I got in, and the red dragon was there, sitting behind the controls. He let me drive. He said he saw something in me, something rare. The blue dinosaur pointed to the planets and stars he passed by. I recognized them. I drew them. I wrote them. Then the dragon took over the controls, and we sped towards a beautiful, glowing white star. That's when I woke up. Thank you. That would be all. Addendum: Thirty four, thirty five, one. SCP-3435 was first unveiled at the Contemporary Art Center in Las Vegas, Nevada. MTF 
Upsilon 23 first lagged it when they noticed the perception based anomaly surrounding SCP 3435. SCP 3435 was confirmed anomalous when its effects manifested, causing several prominent art critics discussing the painting to simultaneously vomit and experience severe migraines. SCP 3435 was contained successfully. An amnestics and a cover story involving undercooked horde de vore were distributed. Addendum 3435-2 POI-0171 was apprehended during Instant Beep 9F92 involving Are We Cool Yet? SCP Beep and SCP Beep. Mr. Gutierrez denied responsibility for the incident and insisting he was not a member of Are We Cool Yet? Interview Log 3435-2 Interviewed POI-0171 Interviewer Dr. Miravilla. Forward. Mr. Gutierrez had previously been uncooperative. Dr. Miravilla, having known him in the past, requests to speak with him before further interrogation attempts. Request was approved. Begin log. Good afternoon, Gamero. Well, man, I haven't seen you in forever. How are you? I'm good, thank you. So, figures you'll be working here, I guess. What's that supposed to mean? Come on, of all of us, you were always the sciencey one. Remember when you helped Mad with his volcano in 7th grade? Oh yeah, that was a good one. Then Mrs. Salinas made us clean the classroom. Please, me and Armando helped you guys out. We didn't just drown you. Ah, good times. Yeah, man. So tell me, what really happened to Gallery? It wasn't me. You already know that. Those uncool bastards stole one of my unfinished canvases and we're gonna use it as part of some stupid exhibition. Of course, they didn't really understand what I was doing with it, so it's probably what caused the whole mess in the first place. Why were you at their location then? To get the canvas back, girl. Jimmy and Miguel were all set up to sneak into the exhibition, had it all planned, and we see a guy running and screaming with a flaming turtle shell on his head like a helmet. That's when everything went to hell. The explosion? Yup. Hey, I don't know if you're allowed to tell me, or if you know, but did you guys get a hold of Miguel too? We only apprehended you and two AWCY members, but in the chaos, a lot of people escape. Let's talk about something else. Fine. Tell me about uh, Dream a Better Dream. Oh, you got that one in here too? Yes. Oh man, that's one of my favorites. Want me to tell you a secret hidden meaning? Actually, yeah, please do. I'm really curious now. What do the dinosaur and dragon symbolize? First, I want to know what you think, me personally. I'm not really an art critic person. I don't see all that deep stuff. Precisely. Just tell me what you saw. It's just really cool stuff. Exactly. You're the kind of person who gets it. You didn't mean for there to be any deeper meaning? No, no, no. There is meaning. Here, let me explain. I'm always. In art class, they said that the key to good art was what emotion do you want the audience to experience? Yeah, I heard that before. Well, for this one, it's really simple. The emotion I wanted to inspire with this painting is exactly what you said. Cool. Nothing more, nothing less. <laughs> well, you definitely succeeded, but please, explain the uh, anomalous properties. Oh yeah, those. That was fun. Had a bunch of those stubborn critics at the gallery were uh, affected. Must have been hilarious. I don't really saw it that way. Oh, come on. They all probably grabbed some Tums or Pepto or something on a limo ride home. God knows there's so many pharmacies up and down the strip. They're all fine now, I promise. No, so tell me, why do you put the effect in? I mean, yeah, there's issues in the world. Bad stuff happening everywhere you look. But the world isn't all bad. The sky isn't falling, no matter what the news might say. Dr. Merrifella takes a sip of water. But that negative crap doesn't need to be in your art. Me? I see art as an escape. A way to look at better worlds, at better days. Art is infinite. Why turn you down? Is this why you paint? This is why I paint. I want to inspire a sense of wonder. A breath of fresh air. Hence the dinosaur and the dragon. I thought, what would ten-year-old me think was the coolest thing ever? And then 
painted exactly that. I mean, I agree. If it went anonymous, I'd hang it on my office wall. Oh, thanks, man. But please, go on. People who get affected, it's because they lost their inner child. They can't see just the top layer of things. They got to inject their views into everything. Sucks the fun out of it. I agree, actually. Yeah, you're one of the few I've seen. It's why they won't let me in into Ari Kuya years back. And too obsessed with sending a message, like they're the Joker or something. Uh, why not everything has to send a message, right? Sometimes we just need something simple, something cool for the sake of cool. Explain the part where it goes in your dreams. You saw them, right? What? You saw the painting in general with them, didn't you? I did, yes. And what did he tell you? <sighs> the dinosaur told me she was proud of me. Told me to keep following my dreams. She told me what I was doing was worth it. She told me that, yeah, I'm making a difference. And don't ever forget that. And the dragon? He told me not to worry. Is it that what happened to my dad wasn't my fault? He said, it's okay, Will. You don't have to talk about it if you don't want to. Don't be afraid to look at the painting again if they let you. Thanks, man. Tell me why the dreams happen in the first place. Uh, you have to ask the beans themselves. I don't know where those two came from. They just can't mind of their own. You didn't create the entities? Uh, sort of. I put them there. But I don't control what they say. Everyone hears what they need to hear. They tell me. Then how do you... It's more of a... How do I put this? As I make the painting, they were already there. I just helped to give them a form. When did they appear in your dreams? They only showed up in my dreams once. The night before I finished the painting, I can't remember any details, but this one line they said together that burned into my brain. Our eyes and yours look upon the same stars. They could take your hand and others if we would just reach up once more like you used to. Wow, I know, eight. But what does it mean? Hell, I know. <laughs> uh, it's nice, though. Yeah, it was nice catching up, Will. Take care of the painting for me. Will do. We'll be sending you back to interrogation shortly. I'll vouch for you, of course. Do you agree to cooperate? Ah, uh, whatever. I don't suppose you give me back the charred canvas you ever found it, right? I uh, you know how it is here. I'm messing with you, dude. It's good to see you again, Guillermo. You too, Will. Any last questions? One last thing. Shoot. The composition of the painting. Those specific dyes have never been synthesized or described before. How the hell do you do that? I think you of all people would realize that chemistry is as much art as it is science. Stay cool, Will. End log. Closing statement. Further investigation of the scene and interrogation of the captured RV Kuliet members proved POI-0171 innocent in the aforementioned incident. However, POI-0171 managed to escape Foundation custody through unknown means shortly after interrogations were concluded. His current whereabouts are unknown. Requesting permission to conduct extended testing on SCP-3435, Dr. Maravilla. Denied. There is nothing more to be learned from it. In fact, your excessive involvement with this anomaly and the POI responsible already borders on the unprofessional. And if he hadn't provided valuable intel on AWCY activity before vanishing, he'd be on the disciplinary watch list already. Remember what's really important here. Personnel Director Acosta 